Hi my dear friends, uh, my name is Hussein Meshayekhi and I hope you are all doing well wherever you are. In this workshop we are going to learn how to create professional looking menus inside Unreal Engine. Now before we start we have to know what a menu does for us and what it looks like. So basically if you take a look at what uh, you have on your screen, this is an executable file from a project that we have done for one of our clients and they get to take a look at the project for themselves. Now before we do that, let's discuss what we have here. We have a couple of buttons here and we also have a camera that is slowly focusing or moving towards this uh, white piece of furniture here and it goes back and forth. So it can either be a looping animation or a camera with some basic movements that we have uh, created before. Moving on to the buttons here, we have this options button that if the client were to uh, go to, they would have control over the resolution, quality and anti-aliasing. And for example, if they have a low tier system, they can choose low for the quality if they have a more powerful system they can use better options for example high or ultra and they could also choose to do the same with the resolution as well and we have another option called anti-aliasing which basically uh, takes care of the edges for us if you choose low the edges would kind of look jagged and not smooth but if you choose options such as medium, high or ultra in case you have a more powerful PC or laptop uh, what happens is that those edges would be more smoothed out and they would look uh, generally more smooth and better. Now we also have some uh, other options down here and uh, if we were to go back to the menu we could just use this back button here and we could just choose exit or start if we click on a start, it will take a couple of seconds for the file to be loaded. And after it's completely done being loaded, we get to walk around inside the project itself. Now we can move around inside the building and maybe interact with some objects. So this was one of the samples that I had prepared for you to uh, be more familiar with the type of menus that I was uh, telling you about. We could just move on to the second sample. The buttons are looking kind of different. We have exit options, cinematic, VR, and play. I'm not going to get inside these buttons and uh, show you what they look like, but basically they achieve the same results. So if we were to pl uh, click on play, we could just go inside uh, this project and see what it looks like for ourselves. Now, let me show you something else. We have this other menu that before you go inside the project, they show you this guide and basically tell you how you can use the keyboard and mouse to interact with some objects, uh, move inside the project, and maybe uh, use uh, other controls to run, for example, or maybe open up uh, another menu with the tab key. And if you click anywhere on this window, you would go instantly inside the uh, building and you can just zoom with the right click. So basically it's a guide that helps you navigate throughout the project more easily. So let's go inside. Just like the other files that I just show you, I could just move inside the building, navigate throughout different sections of the project and maybe interact with some objects or uh, items, maybe change something about the way they look. And if I press tab on my keyboard, I get access to this uh, menu here. I can click on cinematic. There would be videos even with music from uh, the, the project, outside the project, inside. And I can take a look at those videos, for example. Or again, if I go to setting, I get access to a number of controls that I can change. And I also have the photo mode here. I can choose an angle and take a photo and maybe even tamper with some of the settings here to get the type of photo that I want. I also can go to edit mode and change uh, a couple of items that I have. For example, this pocket floor can be changed or over here, the color of the furniture can also be changed. So I have that. 
There's also the walk mode that is pretty obvious. So right now I can interact with some of the items here. For example, if I press E on my keyboard, I get to turn on or off the lights, which basically is regarding the blueprints. And since I'm recording my screen right now, I have some limitations when it comes to showing you some of these interactive items that we have here. 